So you want to get started making videos on Share Factory and need to know the basics. Share Factory has everything you need to get started and offers everything you're going to need to edit your video. So it includes creator packs and stickers and sound effects and camera effects and music and multiple editing options. So everything you need to edit your videos. You'll find the Share Factory menu on the home page on the PS5 or if not, download it in the game library. Before you can edit clips on Share Factory, you need the game clips in the first instance. There's two ways to get them. The first one is to start recording so you capture all that happens next. Press the create button on the controller, that's the button next to the D-pad. Go to start new recording and press X. You can see the recording start in the top center of your screen. Now just play the game and when you want to stop recording, just press the select button again and click on stop recording. Your gameplay recording is now complete and will be saved ready for you in Share Factory. The second way to record your gameplay clips is to record after the gameplay you want has happened. To do that, you wait until the gameplay that you want happens, then press the create button, that's the one next to the D-pad, and click on save recent gameplay. You have options to keep your recent gameplay and can choose between the last 15 seconds to the last 30 minutes, or even the full video. And once you've chosen the time slot you want, then the video will be sat in Share Factory ready for you to use. So once you are in Share Factory, you will see four main options along the top. These are Bits, Video Editor, Photo Editor and Toolbox. To start a new video project, select Video Editor and underneath that it's got four options. One of them is New Project, which is a brand new project. The second one is My Projects, which is where all of your previous projects will be kept. And the third one is My Last Project, which is the last project you are working on. You can go straight to it by clicking there. The fourth option is Gallery, which is where all your video recorded clips are kept. We are starting a new project, so we click on New Project. Now we can choose a particular creator pack if we want to, or no creator pack if we don't want any. The creator packs just give you access to themed stickers and text and that that are related to that creator pack, so you don't have to have one if you don't want to. Once you've chosen an option, just push the cross button and then it takes us to this where we can choose which clips we want to use in our project. You'll see that on the top there are some creator pack own title intros and outro clips which have a tick on them so if you don't want to use them just press cross on each one to untick them to start a project you must have at least one clip selected so just scroll to find the clip you want to use and press cross to select it when ready press square to start the project now you can rename the project which i suggest you do as when you have lots of projects it will be easier to find the one you want if you have named it i'll just name this the number one for the sake of this video and then press continue so now we're in the editor screen with the clip we selected. Main tips here are to look around the left bottom and right of the screen as it shows you what buttons to press on your controller to edit your video. The main thing to remember is that you press the cross button to add something, the square button to change something and the circle to go back a step. Also, Circle will take you to the exit screen where you can push save project and exit, which will save the project, which is important to do regularly. And you might not be able to edit it all in one go. So you can go back to Share Factory, a letter point and go to my projects or my last project. And it will take you back to your video and you can carry on with your editing to get it exactly how you want it. If you want to shorten your clip to remove unwanted parts of your clip, like we do in this example, you've got two options. You can trim clip or split the clip. I'll show you how to do both, but to start with, I'll show you how to trim. So push the square button and click on trim clip. Using the owl stick on the controller, we can shorten the beginning of the clip or use the right stick to shorten the end of the clip. For finer adjustments, we can change it frame by frame using L1, L2 and R1 and R2 on the controller. This will just give us a more accurate start and finish to the clip if we need that level of accuracy. Once you're happy with the changes to the clip, you just push the cross button and that will confirm the trim in your project. And if you're not happy with it, you can always come back to it and just push the cross button on the trim clip again and then you can adjust it again if you need to. 
When you've started a Share Factory project, you will probably want to add more clips to your actual project. The position of your timeline on the existing clip determines where your new clip will be added. At the beginning, we'll add the new clip before the existing clip, and at the end, we'll add the new clip after the existing clip. To add a new clip, we press X, and we always use X to add something in Share Factory, so remember that, and then press on Add Clip. There we can choose which clip we want to add. Here we've got a few options on how to find our clip. So the first choice is most recent. We've got alphabetical, by game, by category. So you've got lots of different ways of finding the clip you want, but generally I use most recent. Then find the clip you want to add and push the cross button on that clip. That will number the clip and you can add multiple clips to the project at the same time. If you want to push the square button to add the clip to your project. If you do add multiple clips, it will add the clips in the order that you chose them. And do note that a project can contain a maximum of 100 clips and or 80 minutes of footage. If you want to shorten your Share Factory clip and would prefer not to use Trim Clip, then you can use the Split Clip option, which in effect splits the one clip into two clips. You can then keep the clip that you want and delete the clip that you don't want. To split the clip, press square and click on the split clip, and then you will notice the two orange arrows next to the playhead. These indicate where you will be splitting the clip, so do make sure that you move it to the right place before confirming the split. When you are ready, press cross to confirm the split and click on confirm. Now your one clip is split into two clips and you can go ahead and delete the clip you don't want. Your clip should now be the right length that you want and make sense with your project. If you have two or more clips in Share Factory, you can make them more interesting by adding a transition between them. Share Factory has plenty to choose from, plus each creator pack has its own transitions options too. Transitions will be added to the end of the clip you are on, so ensure you are on the right clip and then click on X and then click on Add Transition. There are plenty to choose from in categories of Cinematic, Dissolves, Wipes and Comic and each transition can be previewed by pressing R2 on each one. Do note though that the transition time lengths vary so your clip needs to be long enough for the transition to be able to play and it will tell you if the clip is too short when you try to add the transition. So let's just choose a transition and press cross to confirm and this is what it will look like on our project and if you're not happy you can delete it or replace it or even change the settings for some transitions. Another of the first things to learn on Share Factory is how to add text. Now you can add text on video clips and screenshots by pressing cross and add overlay and then text. And there's lots that you can do with the text. So we won't have a chance to go through it all, but I will do a separate video purely on adding text. But very simply, you can choose what font you want. You can type in the words that you want, and then you can change the words and how they're displayed. For example, you can make them bigger or smaller. You can tilt them so that they're on an angle. You can change the color, the opacity, and you can also add text effects and text animation so they fade in and out for example so lots you can do and I'll cover it on a separate video the one thing to be aware of is that it can be a little bit frustrating if you're typing more than a few words because you can only do them one box at a time you can't sort of let the uh, second line start and carry on typing so but other than that really straightforward and really useful so another thing that's worth knowing on Share Factory is how to add stickers. Now each creator pack has its own stickers and then you can access all the main stickers as well, whichever creator pack you choose. The way to get to the stickers is the same as text. So you press the cross and then add overlay and then you just go to stickers and just choose from these options, static stickers, animated stickers, tags, Share Factory Studio stickers. So they've all got their own different values. So just play about with them. The animated ones are pretty useful. So just have a little look and see which ones you like. Once you've chosen one, you can just push the cross on it and that will add it to your clip and then you can start editing it and getting exactly where you want it, how you want it. Look along the bottom of the screen, it gives you a bit of a guide. So L1 and R1 to make it bigger and smaller, L2 and R2 to rotate. You can change the duration of the stickers, delete a sticker, add layers, lots of different things. So best thing to do is play about with it and get used to using stickers. You have the option of enhancing your videos with music if you want to. So the way you can do that is push the cross button and go to add music. 
Once you've done that, it brings you a library of different music and you've got different options of how to choose it, mainly by category. So you can go to classical, country, dance, disco, all that sort of thing. So you can choose the style from there. Once you've found one you want to go to or try, you can push the R2 button to listen to it. To add the track, press the cross button and this will add the music track to your project. And in this example, the music track is actually longer than the videos in the project. So Share Factory adds a filler in the form of this placeholder. So when this happens, we need to split the music so it ends before the last video clip ends. To do this, we put the timeline on the last part of the video, push the cross button, press split clip, and then just confirm the split clip. That will split the music track into two, and we delete the bit after the video, so the second half of the split. By making sure the music ends before the video ends, that gets rid of the placeholder, and the music ends just before the video ends. So it's worth noting that you can add up to 24 music tracks per video project and there's lots of things you can do to edit the music. So you can trim the music, split it, clone the music, change the music volume, which we'll show you in a second, and you can fade in and out as well. So if you want to change the volume, you just go into music volume, move it up and down, and then you can do, if you had more than one music track, you could apply to all or you could prioritize as well. So lots you can do. So again, play around with that with the music. The other tip is when you do have music and commentary at the same time, then do just listen to the project once it's finished, just to make sure that the music doesn't drown out the commentary, because I see that quite often, and that is something you do need to check before you upload your video. On Share Factory, you are able to add commentary to your video. So you do need a mic, a headphones mic or PS5 controller mic would be okay. But ideally a separate mic would be ideal if you can to improve the quality. Personally, I normally get the video ready before I start adding commentary. But when I am ready, I push the cross button and then go to add track to and then choose where you want to start recording and push the cross button and go to record audio. Once you do that, it starts counting down from five seconds and as soon as it gets to zero, you start recording. So this is where you just start talking about whatever you want to in the video and then when you finish, push the cross button and then we can play what it sounds. And I've just done a little example here for you to listen to, see how it sounds. Hey, it's No More Newbie here, just showing you a couple of kills that I got today. Okay, so that was just a quick example of a commentary just to give you an idea. So you can add multiple track twos. You're allowed up to 20 track twos per project. So be aware of that because if you've got a big project, that could cause you a problem if you have lots of track twos. With the track twos, you can move it around. You can change the volume. You can trim it and split it. You can delete the clip and redo it. And if you are trimming it just exactly the same as the video, just use your right stick and left stick on the controller to change it. When you've completed all the track twos, go to one of the tracks and click on clip volume and change the volume to whatever you want the track two to volume to be. If you want all the tracks to be the same, click on apply to all. And if you want to prioritize the commentary over music and gameplay, just click on prioritize. So there's the first 12 basic editing skills you need to learn on Share Factory. There's much more to learn, so do subscribe for more Share Factory tutorials, including how to add thumbnails to your project and upload your videos to YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like button if you learned anything from this video. Thanks very much for watching and bye.